Yeah. Is it going? Yeah. What's yeah. up, gamers? It's uh, Barnes here. Um, this is our response to the uh, gentleman gamer's location. Um, today, me and Lisa are at the uh, family home of Franklin uh, Roosevelt, um, the 32nd president of the United States. Um, the only president in the United States ever to be elected to four terms. Um, Lisa's panning for you around a little bit. But this is, his, uh, this is where he was born and where he is buried. Um, over the years, uh, he had met dignitaries from across the world, um, royalty from Europe, uh, King George VI, Queen Elizabeth, um, the Norway, Norwegian monarchy, monarchs from Greece, um, prime minister from Canada, and Winston Churchill, um, the bulldog of, of England. Him and uh, Roosevelt had met here several times, and he was a guest in this house. Um, <clears throat> Roosevelt came from American Nouveau Rich, um, compared to his neighbors, uh, the Vanderbelts just to the north, uh, Mills and other families that moved into this area. Um, <clears throat> we're about uh, maybe 15 miles um, from where I normally do my videos. Um, on the east side of the uh, Hudson River. <clears throat> um, it was in this building here that uh, the Manhattan Project was combined with the English nuclear effort uh, of the war. Um, and uh, this video for RPGs, at least, uh, gives you a show of how the rich and elite lived. Now, the, the Roosevelts only had themselves a manor. This is not a mansion. It was not meant to entertain uh, large amounts of people. Um, <clears throat> but, however, it's a rather uh, beautiful home. And... Uh, during the years of um, Roosevelt's president, this would have been underneath uh, security of the Secret Service. Um, especially during the war years, uh, this where I was right now, I would have been arrested. Um, <clears throat> especially after the uh, submarines in Sandy Hook, New Jersey, um, proved that the Nazis could come right up uh, into America and maybe possibly sail the 70 miles up to the Hudson, where we are now, and assassinate perhaps the uh, world leaders that were staying here at the time. Um, also on this property is the Roosevelt Library. Um, president Roosevelt was the first president to uh, release his personal papers about the presidency um, to the public and make a library. Um, Lisa Pan over to the library. You can see in the background there is the library. And uh, <clears throat> it is one of 12, I believe, in the United States. Um, and that's where he would do much of his work. Um, and we're going to come over this way. Come on, Hans. And we're going to try to show you a peek of uh, the president's stables. Um, as you, many of you know, like the president had polio. And so you can see like uh, the special stairs made for the president there. And there's a dumbwaiter elevator inside that the president would travel on uh, to get between up and down. Um, obviously, an American and a proud American and being the president of the United States, he uh, had collected many satirical cartoons that were anti-monarchy, and some of the guests uh, found interest in these when they came here. If you'll notice, the American flag only has 48 stars on it, um, as it would have been when Roosevelt was alive and president here. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of information about uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt online, uh, more so than I, c I can say. I'm not an uh, expert, but... I just wanted to give you a click, click, quick <laughs> clips for clock, click, bang um, about some of the uh, historical landmarks here. This is actually a, a uh, national historical landmark in the United States. Um, <clears throat> and just give you a look at how, uh, how he lived. And I, I, you know, I thank you for watching, and uh, I don't know how much use this is going to be for your games, but uh, if you're playing a World War II uh, espionage game, this may come into a, a lot of use for you. Um, as a uh, secret surface would have been on these grounds, uh, as if it was a war zone, <laughs> as if it was in Central Central Europe. <clears throat> but uh, this is what me and Lisa decided to do for our Valentine's Day, and I thought I'd give you guys a quick look, and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.